Hi, Coach Toon here. Welcome to another edition of the 7-Minute Culture Clinic. Today we have Eric Reveno on the hot seat. Eric is the men's basketball coach at the University of Portland and former assistant at Stanford for legendary coach Mike Montgomery. What do you, th- what do you consider to be the general elements of a strong team culture? I think for us here at University of Portland, the first thing was getting people with passion for the game. Uh, Starting with the coaching staff, uh, uh, a passion for doing things the right way, and uh, and, the, and that was focused on the fundamentals of the game and teaching. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and then with the players, uh, you know, demonstrating that that passion, the way to play, and everything, it took time. You know, they had, it, and changing that culture uh, has taken time. I feel like we're really there now. Um, and. And it's a daily d- discipline of, of, of everything we do, trying to do things the right way, not take shortcuts. Um, and I think one of the things also was focusing on the important things. You know, I mean, it's not, people talk about, uh, in college athletics, talk about your locker room and the space and everything, but is that a fresh paint? Uh, is that a, I think you need to show respect uh, for that space and you need to have it clean and working, but is it, it doesn't have to be a flat screen TV. Mm-hmm. We got a flat screen TV, but it have to be a flat screen TV and a video game and a, you know, the culture was about getting better. Our three things we're doing are we, we're gonna we're going to uh, help you become the best player you can be, and we're gonna do everything a single uh, f- focus on that. Um, and the second thing is win championships because we work too hard not to put ourselves in position to win championships. So is everything geared toward that? And the third thing is get a great education. So those three goals that we can do together, the thing was not to get, not to do things, not to, not to get distracted by um, things that aren't relevant mm-hmm. to those three goals. Um, you know, yes, we could use a new carpet maybe in one room or, or, or something happened that, you know, you want to fix, but I, I want a great strength coach first. Mm-hmm. You know, I want, I want a, 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 a tremendous, um, strength and conditioning area I want to make sure they're eating right so when you walked in here like on day one and I'm sure you started sort of an inventory even when you came to interview and you looked around what were your, let's say on your top 10 list of things that you felt like you needed to address to get the culture moving in the direction you wanted it to go it was gonna be a culture that was about work first of all and I need to establish a work ethic so I was, you know okay let's let's we're gonna lift weights tomorrow at 7 a.m. You know, when we started doing that right away, and then um, uh, we're gonna have study hall and the dis- discipline of how you conduct yourself as a student athlete and, and the actions uh, in terms of uh, uh, the space, uh, what we did. Um, you know, my office for one. You know, it wasn't. Uh, I, I took out two reclining chairs and replaced in a refrigerator replaced them with a, a conference table a small work table and a whiteboard you know just to uh, and some things that um, just would, in order to get the work of our, the, our job done what did you when you had your first meeting with your team what were the main key points you wanted to make with them college basketball is a tremendous opportunity you're only going to be a college athlete uh, for a short amount of time, um, but it, and it's hard work. It's really hard work, but it's the most rewarding. Could be the most rewarding. One of the most rewarding things you'll ever do, you know. And so, and we're going to do it as a team. We're going to do it together, uh, and you need to be willing to make that commitment uh, to doing that. You make decisions daily on, you know, uh, things that are go against your cult, the culture like you know so so a player wants to wear earrings you know is that part of your culture um, uh, is that is that core value is that violate a core value of you and to me that one those you know appearance type things go okay why is that person striving for that individualism you know and so it has to do with the team and so looking at things and saying so um, you know and, and basketball players you know trying to stand out for their for things other than their play you know, so talking to them about that. It's not, it wasn't a, you know, tucking your shirt in an appearance, representing your thing. A lot of little things that you sort of look at a group of basketball players, and that's how a team should look. Do you have a formal coaching philosophy? The games we play a certain way from a basketball standpoint, you know, we're going to, uh, our, 
job is to put players in position to be successful. People love asking you, well, what's your style of play? What's my style of play? Who are my players? Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to adjust to your players and make them successful. That's your job as a coach. Um, we're going to play hard. We're going to, we're going to play with passion and we're going to play unselfishly. Um, and so there's some certain core values. And I think, I think there's a, uh, with that, from that core of the game emanates maybe your culture that I'm having trouble articulating in terms of the, the locker room and the travel and how you dress, how you look on the road, but certain, a certain style or culture, um, you know, I, when we're on the road, I'm the last one to leave the, the locker room. I can't help myself, but I'm the last one to leave the visiting locker room and make sure it's cleaned up because that's respect for the respect for the, that space, leaving it better than we found it. Mm -hmm. uh, they were hosting us, you know, um, and we just don't want to just, and, and it reflects on us as a group, as a, as a university. And so things like that, you know, that I think uh, guys being appreciative of good meals on the road and, and being treated well, I'm really a, a stickler for things like that. Um, doing things the right way, um, being on time, just, you know, things like that. What was important to you when you were assembling your staff as a head coach for the first time? Passionate teachers. Uh, that you know those core values of, I try to articulate you know that, that respect the game respect the opportunity love college athletics and from that they work crazy hours and uh, you know just get really upset when we're not doing something well it's not it's not a type of uh, get really excited when a player does well in the classroom or on the court or a player makes progress and we help somebody guys that guys that understand that so to wrap up top three pieces of advice that you would give to coaches who are looking to build you know a championship culture on and off the court great book i read good to good to great you know and just have the right people on the bus second is is knowing knowing what you're going to be good at and what's going to make you and can you win doing that so basketball wise you know what can we what how what's our what are we going to be very good at? And it changes a little bit with team to team, mm -hmm. but you know we're going to be tough, well conditioned, physical, defensive basketball team uh, that 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 adjusts offensively based on skill level at the time. And, and but how how are you, what are you going to be really good at? Because in basketball, you coach Montgomery, I had the pleasure of working with at Stanford, uh, would say we're not writing a book, meaning we're not writing a how-to basketball and everything. So you're mm -hmm. not going to be you don't need to have a great press press defense and a this and a that. You need, this is what you're going to be good at, and then you've got to know can you can that can you win doing that? Being disciplined. I think the third thing of being disciplined in terms of uh, to what you're not good at and what you're weak at. So we finished third in our conference last year, and we were evaluating everything on how we can get better. You know, um, and I'm and I'm. You know, the top team in our conference is very good. And I imagine there's, even though they won the league, you know, they're doing that as well. Uh, and so I, I think getting the right people, uh, knowing what you're going to be great at, what's going to be your advantage, and then being disciplined about it. Don't change, you know. And if you change, you, you can change, but, uh, but just be very thoughtful about it. If you have the right people on the bus, you'll have honest communication about those things. You'll trust each other, and there won't be... Um, so those are the kind of things I try to I try to stay with um, for us as a program. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.